Welcome to your 16th of January's Godly Blessing. Now, what does it mean to be constantly happy and stable? That is what we're going to explore in today's blessing. What does God have to say about this? You see, we generally tend to remain happy and constantly stable. Depending upon the outer circumstances or outer definitions of happiness and stability. Sometimes we say financial stability, we call it sometimes as physical or health stability. We even call it as relationship stability. And then we think that once those things are stable in this present Kalyug, then we are going to be happy. Whereas spirituality teaches us that it is every moment is happiness irrespective of what the situation arises in front of you because there's a method to face any situation there's a method to face any person with the right kind of attitude that is a spiritual attitude not the worldly attitude which we have learned through the movies through seeing people through seeing even our own friends and relatives so there are certain ways to remain constantly happy and that's what we to explore and dive into in this beautiful blessing today. So let's hear it from God himself. God says, may you experience stable and constant happiness and claim number one by becoming full of the infinite treasures. Now, Supreme Creator is the source of those infinite treasures. Now, these treasures are not physical. These are knowledge treasures. These are treasures of blessings, which you hear every single day. These are the treasures of the four pages of complete godly dictates which we read every day and I generally make just a small part of that dictate that is during the end of it there's something known as a vardan or a blessing and we're just doing a little bit of part of that which we read out every day to you now we are talking about four pages imagine you missing out on those four pages if you get to read those four pages you are blessed so let's go ahead let's understand the meaning of this complete vardan or blessing in order to claim number one Number one, in whose eyes? God's eyes. That means he's also seeing who is capable enough to take the throne in the golden age. Now, the throne doesn't mean that he's giving us the greed of the throne. He's making us feel that it is important to become stable and happy constant. So that in the golden age, or also known as heaven, when you reach over there, you're not asking for love and peace and respect and happiness and joy and bliss from people and things around you again. Because that is the habit of Kali Yuga. That is not the habit of Satya Yuga or the Golden Age. That is the habit of Kali Yuga or the Iron Age. When souls have become completely depleted of happiness, inner happiness. Why? Because they've become completely drained out by taking too many births and too many lives. Trying to search the Supreme Creator or the Godfather. So God says, now when I come down, I help you to connect to me so that you drained out souls can recharge yourself with my happiness, my peace, my bliss and stop looking for the happiness and bliss and peace in things around you and people around you. How about that? Wouldn't that make your mind stable? So God says, in order to claim number one, continue to experience stable and constant happiness. Through whom? Obviously through meditation, that means through connection or through building up a relationship with God. Do not get caught up in any jhamelas. Mela and jhamela. So we are in this world mela where all of us are actors. We are performing our own different acts. Whatsoever you are performing and I am performing. And in this mela, if we get caught in somebody's acting, we don't like somebody's acting, we appreciate somebody's acting too much, we love somebody's acting too much, or we dis are disgusted with somebody else's acting, then we are into a roller coaster. That means our moods can be just shaken up by people reacting in a certain manner, people saying certain things, people behaving in a certain manner which we don't like, and that becomes a jamela. That means a troublesome activity or a troublesome vision of yours the way you are looking at things so god says that's why when you go to the jamelas that means when you get into any kind of rut <clears throat> when you get into or engaged into any kind of useless unproductive activity let's say name calling let's say blaming complaining talking ill about somebody or finding out methods to show that you are right and that the person is wrong, that is a jamila also. 
and uh, trying to boost your own ego by putting somebody down that is also a chamela or finding faults in others and talking about others to others how they are bad and how they are not good enough or how the government how the how the community how the society how the municipality and how the different organizations and what somebody must have done what somebody shouldn't have done what that leader what that president what that prime minister what that country's head should have done and all that is chamela that's a lot of waste of energy mental thought energy and time so therefore god says when you go to the chamelas the swing of happiness becomes loose and you cannot then swing high that means you cannot move in the higher feeling of vibrations by being connected to god because you're thinking about everybody else especially what we talk about complaining blaming finding faults instead of thinking about god that means meditating on him therefore constantly continue to swing in a stable swing of happiness now that is how possible because the only constant stable being on this earth right now present is the supreme creator yes he is present here not in me not in the things around me but he is present in a subtle form and you can recognize that subtle form when you learn the seven day course of brahma kumaris then god says all of you children receive from bap that means god dada means the first child of god that is brahma or adam the imperishable infinite and unlimited treasures so constantly remain stable and rem- and full of the attainment of those treasures the speciality of the confluence age is experience that means whenever you experience something let's you experience uh, a situation where somebody hurts you somebody tells certain things to you and you feel that yes this is a uh, very common for anybody to feel hurt or get hurt in the situation by the way we have created a very beautiful video today itself go check it out and uh, you might even see the link over here up here if you're listening to the whole thing i'll be connecting the link over here you can check out the episode 9 where we're talking about living with hurt or hope check that out it's a beautiful session which we had so constantly remain stable and full of the attainment of those treasures the speciality of the confluence age is experience so take benefit of the speciality of the sage how about that and how do you do that is when you learn meditation and when you learn different nuances different methods of stabilizing your mind and your intellect by thinking certain things by connecting to god and stabilizing yourself well all of that all of those nuances different methods you learn it in brahma kumaris with this om shanti